What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Wes. Back at you with another video, and uh, today I'll be talking about possibly, well, not even possibly, definitely the biggest moment over the weekend. Huge upset that not a lot of people saw coming. George Cambosos versus Teofimo Lopez, 135 pound unified lightweight championship. In some, excuse me, sorry. In some people's eyes. Undisputed championship, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, man, it's a huge fight. Both guys were going toe to toe throughout the whole fight. Big, brutal fight. Both guys left. Definitely worse for wear. Definitely changed both men after the fight. Both men were knocked down throughout, but it was just action packed all the way through. Definitely a close one. George Camboso was able to pull off the upset, beat Teofimo Lopez, the takeover, taking his championships from him. Teofimo Lopez obviously didn't react too well to the outcome, felt he won. Uh, you know, there's a lot of problems with him coming into the fight, had a real bad weight cut. Rumors of doctors saying that, you know, he almost actually passed away. It was really unhealthy for him. So, you know, it was just a real crazy, unfortunate situation there. Glad to know that, you know, he was able to pull through that, though, and that he's still with us because boxing is a very dangerous sport leading up to the fight, let alone just being in there in that ring. So, fact that he was able to get through that hopefully he can get healthier uh, either manage the weight cuts better or move up to a more healthier weight for him that would be great but yeah man back to you know George Cambosos he's now in a huge situation where you know he holds he holds a lot of the cars not all the cars but he holds a lot of the cars in the lightweight division he can kind of pick and choose who he wants to face you know besides the fact that there are mandatories out there that will appear throughout you know his championship tender but right now he's got some options you know there's Devin the Dream Haney who holds a piece of the WBC championship who in my eyes is the reason that you can't call George Cambosos undisputed there's Javante Tank Davis who is the regular WBA world champion who's definitely the biggest name at the lightweight division and in my opinion arguably probably top three biggest names in boxing right now today you know, sells tickets very well, big pay-per-view star, celebrities always coming to see him and watch him fight, you know, Tank Davis always shows out, puts on a great show, pretty much to me the most exciting factor in boxing right now. So my question mainly is, you know, which direction does George Cambosos go? Him and Devin Haney spoke in the post-fight interview, you know, both guys fight on the zone, so in my opinion, that's a real easy fight to make. It would be for the Undisputed Championship, no doubt about it. There would leave zero doubt after that fight. Who is the Undisputed Champion of the World at Lightweight Division? Devin Haney's willing to come to Australia, so George Cambosos has a huge home field advantage. It's possible Devin Haney would ultimately have to knock George Cambosos out just to take the belts from him. Just because, you know, we have seen in recent years, you know, boxing in some people's home states, home countries, it can get a little bit corrupt. But... Hey, it is just is what it is. Devin Haney said he's willing, so that shows big confidence in the young champion that, you know, he feels his skills are enough to put on a good enough showing to where he can take the championships from Cambosos. And then on the other side, you have Javante Tank Davis. Now, I think the issue there that lies with that is I don't really see Javante Tank Davis having a big interest in being undisputed or having world championships. Javante Tank Davis, without a doubt, would be the A-side in that fight. I know Cambosos holds most of the belts in the division, but at the end of the day, like I said, the belts don't really make the man. It's the man who really makes the belts. And Javante Tank Davis, he's the biggest, one of the biggest stars in boxing, easily the biggest star in the lightweight division. And I don't see him going all the way to Australia to fight Cambosos. Now, the only thing is if he did, having the high knockout ratio that he does, he probably would have a bigger chance than Devin Haney in that fight of taking the belts just because leaving it to the judges may not be as big of an issue there. Um, but just like I said, you know, Floyd has already said a lot of his, a lot of times, Javante Dang Davis's fights will stay in-house on Showtime PBC. So that's going to be a big obstacle to make. And then from George Camboso's view, it's interesting because, you know, he was going to say he was going to keep his eyes close on both fights this weekend. And he was looking for something majorly impressive. And in my opinion, both guys had a similar showing. Now, you can make the argument that Tanks was more impressive because he suffered an injury, a hand injury midway through the fight. He was kind of a one-handed fighter about 
from the seventh to sixth round on. And, you know, he had to fight through injury. But then you have Devin Haney, who went up against a former world champion in Jojo Diaz and was able to go and beat him handedly. So it's like, I think when you compare the performances, in my opinion, you kind of have to give it a tie just because I think they won about around the same margin and neither guy secured a knockout. And, you know, a lot of people have been overcritical of both guys, which I've mentioned in previous videos that I will drop the link down below discussing both of those fighters fights that happened over the weekend. So, in my opinion, for for me, I would like to see Cambosos and Haney next just because I feel that would finally shut up everybody about who's the undisputed champion of the world. But I'm also in favor of Tank, you know, finally getting in the ring with other world champions in his division or former world champions in his division. And I feel like it's long overdue for that at 135. He's fought some great champions at 130 and at 140, but I just feel like at 135, he hasn't fought any of the young guys in his core group. Not that he hasn't fought anybody. He has one of the best resumes at the division for sure. As being, you know, former world champion, you know, Jose Pedreza. So he definitely has a resume, but it's just the young guys, you know, mixing it up. We haven't gotten to see a lot. So let me know who you guys would like to see George Cambosos fight next. If you think it should be Devin Haney, Tank Davis, or someone else in the division. Let me know what you thought of his performance against Teofimo Lopez. Do you agree with the Teofimo that he got robbed? Do you think George Cambosos definitely won the fight? And what are the likelihood of Cambosos fighting either guy? If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you hit the bell notification, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any updates for sports here on this channel. Make sure you also subscribe to the official Pro Talk YouTube page. I'll leave a link in the comments below of that page as well, just so you don't miss any updates that I may bring, whether it's here, whether it's on Facebook. Yeah, follow the Pro Talk page on Facebook, follow First Degree Sports on Facebook so you can get all the updates, all the news on fights football, basketball, everything. Uh, once again, thank you guys for coming and viewing. Have a blessed day. And on that note, I'm out.